Good afternoon, Ben Versteeg from the Netherlands here. I'm currently working on uh, solving a slide issue on the three channel version of the AVRAY. Until now I used a two channel version, uh, but that has the problem that with some applications like the ZXAY or a Harlequin board which is inside here, um, you can't uh, mix the channels the way you want to. So I thought to try the three channel firmware which also exists. Um, although my boards, the AVR wire boards currently only support a two channel, I can show you. So this is a, a board uh, which is finished uh, and ready for action, if you can call it that. Uh, the only way of using it on ZX AY is uh, with fixed pin headers, fixed configuration for channel output. Otherwise, uh, you will mess up the, the two channels, or the two outputs on the AVR wire that are available. So I thought, uh, why not add the third one? Um, of course, it, the quality should be the same. There was a free channel firmware and uh, I tried it and the quality is still the same. Uh, so no problem with that. The only problem is that the added channel, channel B, is quite lower volume compared to the other two channels, so channel A and C. So this some measurements. Uh, so the output on pin uh, 5 and pin 1 for channel A and C respectively are 1 volt average. I, I measured that with a multimeter. And pin 4 comes at uh, 0.4 volts, so it's quite a lot lower. But I now connected the oscilloscope and I want to see if I get the same results um, or if there's anything other, anything else wrong. So what I did is I cut pin 1, 4 and 5 on the um, bottom of this AVRAY uh, module. So um, those are not connected to the uh, zip socket, not connected to the ZXAY, so there can be anything influencing this. So what we want to do is do a test. With a simple basic program, so the first line, line 10, will play 8 notes on channel A. Uh, the second line, line 20, will play the same notes on channel B, as which should be center channel, and the third line um, plays the same on channel C. Uh, what you will hear is the output from the Harlequin board. So here's an, uh, there's an original um, AY chip in here, like this one, for example. Um, but what you will see on the oscilloscope is the output from the AVROY. So the output, the audio output is just for convenience. Otherwise it's uh, silent and, uh, well, it's a sound chip, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's do the measurement. Let's start with channel A. Uh, channel A is connected to pin 5. And you can see here we're measuring pin 5 of the AVROY and pin 6 is for ground purposes. So let's see what the output is. And you can see this is clearly the output of channel A because you can see the waveforms have different length um, when it comes to playing different notes. Um, and now we're going to do the same with the channel C, which is on pin 1, so I broke the program. Um, let's carefully get, lift this up and put it on pin 1 for channel C. And this should be about the same. Uh, we only have to play another line here, so if I uh, play line 10, you see nothing here because that is not the correct uh, playing not correct uh, not playing not correct channel. So we should do print uh, run 30, which will run uh, the play command on channel C, and that will that's resulting in exactly the same waveforms. Nothing special there. Okay, now the question is, what happens when we connect it to the added channel C? Uh, sorry, B on pin four. Uh, oh, by the way, I added the channel by adding the resistor and capacitor manually, like this way, um, to pin 4 and pin 6 for ground. Uh, so it's exactly the same value, as, so frail use, the resistor and capacitor have exactly the same values as the ones on the bottom of the board. Um, let's see what, what we get when we check uh, channel B, which is on line 20. Alright. So you can see it looks quite different. The, the amplitude is about the same, but... If I, if I tr uh, change the trigger level a bit... It looks yeah, somewhat the same, but... It definitely is not the same. So what's going on here? Because the average voltage is much lower on this channel. And... This puzzles me quite a lot. So, what we also can do is add, a, add another line for the play 
a C, uh, well let's do C, D, E then, oh, C, D, E, and also play that on channel B, and play it on channel C, so we can just pick any pin, uh, oh, come on, give me, give me the key, uh, this one here, <laughs> go to 40, alright, let's see, so uh, it, it will play on all three channels now so it's quite a lot louder all right now we can uh, we can see the differences so now it's connected to pin 4 channel B let's check check channel C again you can so it is different not that different but it looks like channel B is floating a lot more I, I'm not sure how to explain and here I need to edit trigger levels a bit. Oh, okay, it's almost almost okay. So this is channel A. And this is the quite erratic channel B. I'm not sure what this is. Um, maybe if I zoom in, we can see more. Uh, it's really hard. That's because of trigger level. Uh, it's really hard to do anything with this data. So it's really hard. I, I can't. I cannot make much of this. So this again. This is channel B, and channel B is showing real, real odd output. Channel C is quite stable, but channel this is channel A, but channel B is so much different what, what's going on here and I did a lot of checking in the in the source code of the firmware I couldn't find anything but what's going on here what what, what kind of output is this it's really hard to tell so this is a, just a, some high, fre high uh, frequency noise on the output uh, it is quite high it's a uh, 90 kilohertz and about 4 volts peak so on the other channels it's different here we have 200 kilohertz and here we have also 200 kilohertz so maybe that's something that's problematic so we have a different frequency high, high frequency on channel B it's about half of the frequency on channel A and C uh, that could explain the lower voltage because obviously this will result in a lower average voltage <sighs> but um, again um, the problem is that it's not only visible on the oscilloscope uh, it's also it's also uh, audible so you can actually hear that the, um, the output is much, much lower volume and the, the, the high kilohertz doesn't yeah, it doesn't um, uh, say much because you, you cannot hear it anyway. Um, maybe I could, we could filter it out, but that's not the problem here. Um, the problem is that the volume level is lower. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm trying to fi uh, find a cause for this. But there is um, something different on the channel B output, which should be exactly the same because uh, in the source code, when you use the free channel version, the output should be the same. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, I hope someone can help me with figuring this out. Uh, I could use a workaround and just change um, resistor values, but I'm not sure that will uh, will do much good. Um, so, well, I don't know. Um, if someone can help me out with this, uh, I would. It would be lovely. So we can create a general purpose ZX AY clone. ZX Spectrum AY clone because this is uh, set to uh, ZX Spectrum frequencies um, uh, in, 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 with with some software. So you cannot use this uh, without changing the firmware or on another system because the frequencies are different. Then um, anyway, uh, I'm curious. So if anyone can help me, please let me know. So bye for now. Bye.